Mensuration, the topic which includes diagrams and shapes and the interesting solids which we take into consideration in daily life. So what is mensuration? Mensuration is a topic which includes the most important topics, the connected words which we identify in mensuration as area and volume. The minute mensuration comes into mind, these two are the words which come immediately into the mind, the areas and volumes. So when do we find the area and when do we find the volume is the biggest question in case of the three-dimensional mensuration concepts. What makes me find the area and what makes me find the volume is what we need to understand. So finally, we just try to take some example problems to identify whether the problem, the situational problem is related to finding the area or the volume of the given problem. So initially, let me start with the canvas used for making a tent. If my problem is related to the amount of canvas I require to make a tent, the immediately what shoots in my mind is about finding the area, is how I understand the situational problem. The canvas I use for making a tent is related to area, therefore this problem is exclusively used in making, in identifying the area of the given situational problem. Similarly, if I take, <coughs> say, gas filled in a cylinder, then immediately this situational problems make me remind of the volume but not the area because when the gas is filled in the cylinder, we measure it with respect to the volume. When we take the amount of canvas for making a tent, we measure the canvas through the area is how we need to identify whether the problem is related to finding the area or the volume from examining carefully the given situational problem is very important. So gas filled in a cylinder is identified to be the volume related problem out here. Let's take some more examples in identifying here. Laying down the road or construction of a road is clearly a problem related to the surface that is area. Or if I take filling up the petrol in the tank is a problem related to volume because when I fill the petrol in the tank, I measure it in liters or I say I want 5 liters of petrol to be filled but I don't say I want this much area of petrol to be filled in the petrol tank. Therefore, laying down the road is a problem related to area. Similarly, filling up of petrol in vehicle tank is nothing but a problem purely related to volume, <coughs> etc. So this is how we try to understand or analyze or especially visualize on how we can identify the problem for finding its area or volume. Remember, it's very important that mensuration is a topic which includes visualization of objects because when I say I want to find the length of the bridge or I want to find the area of the complete petrol tank, then I don't assume going out and measuring the entire petrol tank, but I visualize and then take the dimensions to find the respective areas and volumes using the visualization concept. Therefore, this is very important before we start the actual topic of menstruation. Identification of area and volume is the most important concept. So finally, the learning outcome here is that we identify that situations decide whether the given problem is about finding the area or volume. 
So finally, my learning outcome in case of this session is that it's purely the situations which decide whether the given problem is about finding the area or the volume is what is the interaction of mensuration connected with area and volume.